Okay guys, I am working on my free file for today and I have just went in and typed out the words. Um, every time that you want to do a new text, I just hit text, um, hello, you go back and click the selection tool, I hold down shift so it keeps the same proportions and you can drag it to make it bigger. So if I say hello, and then go over here and hit text again, and do nice to meet you. Make this Carolina. I'm gonna go back here to the selection tool, hold on shift, make this bigger. This Carolina, the glyphs are kind of crazy, so I can pick all my glyphs over here. Illustrator makes this a lot easier than Silhouette and Cry Cut. Um, And then just drag your words where you want them, line them all up. So I just laid out those words the same way as this. I'm not going to use this. Okay. So after you get your words on the mat where you want to see them, we're going to click on our phrase, right click, create outlines. And then all of these dots are what our machine will see to cut. We want to go into Pathfinder which you'll find over here under, let's see real fast. Let's say it's under view. I can't think right now where it is. I already added it into my, oh, maybe it's under window. And you can click it to show it or not show it. And we're going to unite. Right here it doesn't really matter, but on our cursive, it does the same kind of as when you don't weld. So if you go here again, Right click, create outlines. You'll see it does the same thing. So whenever we unite it, it welds. Okay, so we're gonna do that on each thing, just in case there's any points. And then this font is super thin for the machine. So what we want to do is offset it. So I'm going to hold down shift and select both fonts. I'm going to go to object, path, offset path. And I like to play around with these numbers until I see, like this is way too chunky. And not only that, but it brings out these little pieces. So you can hit command Z to go back. And we're going to go back to path, offset path, 0 0.09. Let's try that. And you can see the original path and then where it made it just a little bit thicker. So then you'll select your words. And once again, we're going to unite them so it's all one path. And here too, we'll unite. And then for me, this looks fine. I might take my words that are the same and hit Command G to group them. What you don't want to do is make this a compound path because if you do, um, especially our cry cut users won't be able to ungroup. And I'm self-taught with all of this stuff. If there are any shortcuts that you know of as a graphic design artist, you can, I'm willing to learn anything. But everything that I've done over the last uh, probably six or eight months since I started doing this, I've taught myself and any mistakes I've made, I figured out how to fix them and this works perfect for me. So I have this, raise your words, not your voice. It's rain that grows flowers, not thunder. Now I'm just going to go in, save as. I have MMM designs always. And then I'm going to put raise your words. And we want to save as an SVG. We want to save as a... EPS. We want to export as a DXF and make sure outline text is selected. And we also want to export as a PNG. 
And some people also add PDF on there. I don't. I just do those four formats. They seem to work for me. And if anyone asks for something different, then I'll add it. Then I'm going to take all of this, and I am going to group it now. Shift G, Command G for group, and then Command C for copy. And I have my different listing templates over here. So I'll just move my watermark out of the way. Paste my design here. Pull this back up. Then you want to send backwards so it's behind the watermark where you can just bring the watermark, arrange, bring different. That way it's over your words. So if someone tries to trace it, they'll pick up all of these gray marks. And then I take a screenshot of this design, Command Shift 4 on a Mac. And this is what I'm going to upload whenever I go into my store on Mom Bundles. So let me hit this. I'll show you all that part on another video. But for now, that's going to be our free design of the day. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me below in the comments.